Good evening everyone, I am Obi-Wan, yes, that Obi-Wan, and this is SmackDown. Great show for you tonight. Will the My Games continue between The Undertaker and The Velveteen Dream? But first, let's start things with the Intercontinental Champion. As things are getting very heavy in the Intercontinental Champion picture. Whoa, this man, Kurt Angle. Will he remain the Intercontinental Champion? Stole the JoJo. Making his way to the ring from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 237 pounds, the Intercontinental Champion, Kurt Angle. As last night, shots were fired between the number one contender Pete Dunne and the IC champion Kurt Angle as referees and agents breaking up the fight and the strategy and the momentum. I don't know, it might go to Pete Dunne at main event, but nonetheless, Kurt Angle, it's a one-on-one -on -one competition against one of the up-and-comers in the WWE. Again, a proud champion in Kurt Angle. Again, winning it for Baron Corbin a few months over the summer. And a potential superstar on the rise in Menadre seeing all this. Again, let's go to Georgia. Again, no Selena Rivera tonight. Her hands are tied with the LWO. And at the same time, I don't think that Cianomis needs somebody like a Selena Rivera. When the man can do it all by himself. Again, this is a huge opportunity for Amis going up against the Intercontinental Champion. And we are live from St. Louis, Missouri. The last SmackDown before the main event. And again, he could be a potential in the Incontinental Championship title picture. Damn, that's not bad. Nonetheless, keep it consistent. This should be a fun match to enjoy on SmackDown. And so here we go with this one-on-one -on -one action. I'm pretty sure there's no disqualification, but uh, referee, let's call for the bell, and here we go. Nice tie-up. And again, almost getting the slight upper hand over the Intercontinental Champion. And just like that, Kurt Angle goes into a snap suplex, then a kick to the back. Oh, and I think Amis is kind of ticked off. Nice roll over, neck breaker. And Kurt Angle now goes with a nice dragon screw. Kick to the midsection. And that's the first by Amis trying to go for a. Modified drop kick. And again, Angle throws Amis into the turnbuckle. And uh, what's Angle got playing? And into the tree of woe and the knee first to the head. For seeing Amis. Nice hip toss by seeing Amis. And again, the early, the early momentum. With a big boot over the top rope and to the floor. Uh, 
referee's not counting, so I guess this is no disqualification. Referee, you need to clear that up a little bit. Hit first into the apron. That's an Andre now. Trying to go for something, but a nice kick to the midsection. Going for a drop kick again. And a nice kick. And again, another reversal by seeing all this. Nice Northern Light Suplex. Took it down to IC Champ. And again, this is all just game plan for Pete Dunne with his Incontinental Championship match at main event. Nice German suplex by the Incontinental Champion. As they go now, just going all suplex city like with a belly to belt. This angle picks on this back up. Trying to go for, I guess, another suplex, but a nice reversal by an Andre. And again, just back and forth between these two competitors. Again, nice showing by CN Omnis so far in the match. It's Omnis throws angle back into the ring. And the match continues. And CN Omnis now throws angle into the corner. And into the single leg leg lock. And will CN Omnis submit? To the Olympic champion. Nice kick to the face, getting out of that maneuver. That's all is now. Throws angle into the other side of the corner. And uh, I guess we're just playing four corners now. That's all is. Sets up for that power bomb. And a sit down power bomb connects. Seeing Amos sets up for his finish here. And again, it is so beautiful, ladies and gentlemen. Into the car wheel and a nice front kick, taking down the IC champion. And Will Amos picks up the victory and not even a two count. I'm not selling for you, man. Oh, that's his signature. I didn't know that. But it's making an impact with that hammerlock DDT and getting the victory over the Intercontinental Champion and a kick out. And what a match this SmackDown has become. And not a bad match in general. Nice kick to the face. That's Angle now. Oh, I think Angle is tired now. Getting ready for the ankle lock and he's in the ankle lock and hooked it on. To the lock and will Amis tap out and seeing Amis submits to the ankle lock. Again, nice showing by and Andre seeing Amis, but the Intercontinental Champion has momentum hitting into a main event. As we look through some of the highlights, again, it's a pretty move by and Andre seeing Amis. Again, one of the true bright lights on SmackDown this far. And the hammer like DDT again, just beautiful by and Andre seeing all this. Again, but it couldn't pick up the victory. But this did the ankle lock. And get that hook in and it's all said and done. So a beautiful victory, you know. Great way heading into main event. Here is your winner, Kurt Angle! Momentum victory for Kurt Angle as SmackDown continues with some one-on-one -on -one women's action. We are back live on SmackDown and it just went from prestige with the IC belt to chaotic to the women's championship. Making her way to the ring from Montgomery.
Montgomery, Alabama, Hurricane Heather. And looking at Hurricane Heather, she really needs to step out and become the women superstar that everybody intended her to be, to become that monster, to become a major contender in the women's division. Little backstory on Heather. She was the manager of Typhoon and Earthquake back in 2K18, but now just really trying to break out on her own. And speaking of a former women's champion, and her opponent from Helsinki, Finland, Bobby Barton. As I mentioned, a former women's champion, Bobby Barton. Again, trying to become in contendership for the women's champion, but given the fact that the LWO is all of the women's champion, will be pretty hard to be in contendership with how erotic and chaotic the LWO is. So here we go in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Hurricane Heather, Bobby Barton, referee calls for the bell, and here we go. And again, going into the straight power of Hurricane Heather. And a nice modified suplex. It's all about that double H. Barton with a low kick in again. I think it's crazy. Absolute crazy that somebody like Bobby Barton can take down or even pick up a Hurricane Heather. Massive size and strength. Nice backhand fist in his air. Nonetheless, Hurricane Heather trying to go. I guess she's trying to play um, four corners as well. Nice body splash taking down the former women's champion. Trying to go for a clothesline, but nice move by Heather. And again, a knee into the ropes. And again, the early momentum, the only the early advantage is Hurricane Heather with a nice fall away slam. And again, if this woman can get in check, if this woman have all the momentum on her side, she will become very dangerous in WWE and especially with that nice back suplex. And again, just throwing Bobby Barton around like a small child. As Heather picks Barton back up. And again, nice good pump handle throw. Uh, it's just a cat and mouse game. Nice knee to the face. Taking down Hurricane Heather for the first time. As Barton now into a DDT. And maybe that's the advantage that Bobby Bart needs. Going into a close line. And a nice super kick. It's not an Obi-Wan super kick, but nonetheless, Barton picks Heather back up. The kick to the midsection. And a nice hip toss taken down. Hurricane Heather. In just a two count. Oh, and. Ah, oh, shit. Okay, which OWO member? Because this is just getting ridiculous. That's Laida Vega. It's right behind. Nice close line. And what are you talking about? I thought this was no disqualification. As Hurricane Heather goes into the cover. Not this damn way. And only a one count. the advantage goes back there Hurricane Heather and a nice frog splash and again Heather goes into the cover referee what are you doing one two and again a two count so I need to get new reps and 
again had to just take advantage of Bobby Barton and again into another back suplex. Again, the sheer strength of Hurricane Heather and this should be all over and again another two count. As Heather now trying to go for something but Barton gets out of it. And into the real naked choke. So glad that I pronounced that right most of the time. Again, it's the battle of words, people. But whoa, Hurricane Heather tap out to the rear naked choke. And Spartan just lets go of her. And Spartan now finally goes to the cover. I think she's knocked out. One, two, and a two count. And the match continues. Oh, boo hoo, back at you. Shit. And Barton now. Again, trying to eliminate the vertical of Hurricane Heather. Again, just trying to pick the pieces and again into the DDT. As Barton now goes to the outside of the ring, goes underneath the ring for a weapon. What will she bring out? And she brings out a ladder. Again, we are about to get very extreme. A nice shot with that ladder. And what a weak ass shot. There we go. Much better. That's what I'm talking about, Martin. Again, multiple ladder shots. As Spartan goes into the cover. One, two, and a kick out. This match will continue. If we're all over the place. Last kick to the back end again. Barn goes back into the cover. One, two, and again another kick out. And again, you have to give resiliency to Double H. As Barn now goes back into the rear naked choke. And will Hurricane Heather submit? Will Hurricane Heather tap out? And she does, and what a victory. And some redemption for Bobby Barton. Let's just go through most of the highlights. And again, it's all Hurricane Heather uh, dominated through most of the match. Uh, an LWO member, Laia Vick, interfered yet again. And again, just the LWO is totally out of control. Again, another nice near fall, but again, that real naked choke. Here is your winner, Bobby Barton. Again, huge victory for a former women's champion. And again, a lot of work needs to be done in order for her to become women's champion again as SmackDown continues. Big victory for Bart. SmackDown rolls along and it's time to burn it down. Maybe. Not sure. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. There we go. That's the momentum change in SmackDown, particularly with the WWE Championship. Because it's not too long ago that this man right here picks up a victory over the dead man. Making his way to the ring. From Davenport, Iowa, weighing in at 217 pounds, Seth Rollins! Like I said, it was two weeks ago on SmackDown that Seth Rollins picks up a victory over the dead man. And currently, right now, I think he is the front runner for the WWE Championship. We'll see as 
this Sunday the main event. It is The Undertaker versus the Fifteen Jr. And again right now just a huge opportunity for Seth Rollins and continuing his momentum back into the WWE picture. He had a match with Undertaker early in the month, which is why the team dream get involved. Again, everything has a price, I suppose. But nonetheless, will DiBiase and will his momentum pick back up against a victory over the Architect? Again, one of the great characters never to win a WWE Championship. Well, they had the million dollar belt, but which is prestige in its own way. And so here we go, one on one action. Not sure what the referee's rules are. Nonetheless, cause for the belt, and here we go. As DiBiase starts right off with the eye rake and Rollin counters with a flat line. And then Knight's moves off, standing moves off by the architect. Again, I believe a current number one contender for the WWE Championship. After all this mess is done between Undertaker Velveteen Dream and the Mind Games and the Falcon Air. Nice sweep by DiBiase. Kick to the back. DiBiase, nice punch to the gut. Trying to go for a scoop slam, but reversed by Rollins. Nice single leg kick. Taking down the million dollar man. Main event tonight, Undertaker and Velveteen Dream will be teaming up. And again, only more my games will continue as Rollins goes into the cover. One and just a one count. And I kinda ticked off the million dollar man with the nice bulldog. Kick to the back and to the kidney area. And again, just attacking the arm. As Rollins now goes into another flat line. Let's roll up into the super kick. Again, it wasn't an OB1 super kick because again that, that would put you out. Put you to sleep. Nice knee to the face. And down goes DiBiase and into the cover and only a two count. Again, Rollins in complete, well, was in complete control of the match. Stevie now goes into the choke. And Stevie now goes into the cover, and not even in one count. What does Stevie have in store for the architect? And connects with the low blow. Oh, shit. And DiBiase is back in complete control of the match. Into the scoop slam. As DiBiase up on the second rope. And connects with an elbow. As DiBiase goes into the cover. Classic DiBiase and only a two count. And I get all that's left is the million dollar dream. 
DiBiase setting that up. Trying to go for the million dollar dream. And Rollins rolls out the way. Nice counter by Seth. And DiBiase back in the mix. And a nice standing suplex. Taken down. The unsanctioned number one contender into the sling blade. That's Rollins now. Going back to another standing boom so. And here comes Seth Rollins. Connecting with a second form. And again another sling blade. Into the school bar again. And connects with a super kick. And I think that opened DiBiase right up. But into the cover. And only a two count. Oh, that was a long two. Damn you, referee. Rollins now setting up for the curb stomp. And the curb stomp connects. And that should be all over as referee calls for the bell. Knocking out DiBiase and going to a dream of this one. Again, great back and forth action by both competitors. And again, just a classic, classic move by DBIC with the elbow. And again, trying to go for that million dollar, million dollar train. Easy for me to say. But at the end of the day, again, nice super kick. And I think that opened DBIC right up. Yeah, it, it certainly did. But DBIC was going to a train. Here is your winner. Again, the uncrowned number one contender for the WWE Championship as SmackDown continues with your main event, The Undertaker and Velveteen Dream in action and attacked. Well, from one dream to another, it is time for your main event. Everything. Dreams, dead man, hit man. Introducing first, from Capitol Hill, Washington, D.C., weighing in at 227 pounds, Velveteen Dream. And of course, mind games as over the past few weeks it's been going back and forth between who has the mental edge for the WWE Championship. You see Velveteen Dream interfering in a few matches over the past few weeks as well as the Dead Man. But it all comes down to this Sunday. Whoa, this man right here picks up a major, a huge victory and become the WWE Champion. Again, very successful down in NXT. But again, the next step is to become a huge superstar in the WWE. And what better way by doing it than to defeat The Undertaker. Again, very athletic, very young, only at 22 years of age. Again, it's all going down at main event. And again, very happy see this man become at least the number one contender for the title.
and again, one dream, two a nightmare, some might say to the depths of hell we win this game. But at the end of the day, he is the master of the head games, and that is the WWE Champion, The Undertaker. Now, I, I'm pretty sure that I'm, I'm here. I don't, don't want to be um, like that again, like, uh, like what happened last week. And, uh, and Andre picks up picked up the victory. And dealing with my games, who will get the ultimate edge at main event? The Undertaker or Velveteen Dream? You know, what, what can Velveteen Dream do in order to get the final mental head game picture the mental edge over the mental we will see the main event and furthermore how get these two actually coexist in a tag team match nonetheless. Play it. So I had to I had to throw it out there. You know. same time, Kevin Owens is saying this in a light way, you know, they will have a tough battle tonight, the final week before a main event. And going back for Sammy and KO, they did pick up a victory over the current number one contenders for the world tag team titles and those guys. So, pretty prestige for Sammy and KO. But I don't know, going up against a, you know, a dead man and a dream, I don't know. Know how this is going to pan out, but again, this is your main event for the evening. Referee calls for the bell, and already my games between both the dream and the dead man. And now, this match can officially start. I'm trying to go for a close run, and again, it's probably the team speed. Falcon arrow. It's the speed from Feather Team Train that will pick up the victory. Nice overhead belly to belly suplex. Taking the page out of Kurt Angle and finally a little bit of unity between the Dream and the Dead Man. That's taken out. Picks KO back up or at least try to. Nice sweep. And just like that, the good man exits the ring and quickly gets back in. Now KO exits and re enters the ring. And connects with the Samoan drop. Again, 
good stomp to the gut. Dare, dare I say to the gut? Yeah. For old times' sake, nice sweep taken down, Kevin Owens. Let's take him now. Let's kick to the kidney and a knee to the face. Well, I think Taker is entering dangerous territory in the corner of KO and Sandy. Nice right hand punch by KO. And the tag is made to Sami Zayn. It's Orange and Sami going with his shoulder tackle. Nice combo by the future number one contenders for the world tag team titles. Let's take a throw, Sami, to the outside of the ring. And right now it's looking like Undertaker doesn't even need Velveteen Dream's help. Again with uh, soup bonus, I, I think that's what uh, my commentator once said. Nice going to a rolling power bomb by Sami Zayn. Sami now connects with a flat liner of his own. And referee finally initiated a 10 count. So proud of him right now. It's Taker. Gets back into the inside of the ring as X6 back out. And again, reset that 10 count. Let's take a throw. Sammy back into the inside of the ring. Uh-oh. And this is just classic Undertaker with a leg drop to the apron. It's taken out. Throw Sammy into the corner of the dream. And the tag is made. And again, just so far so good. Nice back body drop by both Taker and the dream. And again, the momentum has completely swing. Swing? Swamp. There we go. Nice uppercut by the Fabertine dream. And what a knife edge chop by Sami Zayn. And a nice forearm by a good reversal. And trying to go for a tag. And again, and I think the ultimate my game is played by Undertaker. Nah, man. Nah. I'm going to see you at main event. And so this is now turns into a two on one handicap match. Nice. Northern Light Suplex by Sami Zayn. And going into the backbreaker. Why I ought to. And Sam. Nice. Forearm. Running forearm, my I am. As the tag is made to Kevin Owens. And Owens now. And complete control. Nice knee to the kidney area. The Fever Team Dream. As Owens goes into the cover. One and just a one count. Again, nice kick to the gut midsection. Knocking back down the Fever Team Dream. And again, this is just getting nasty. Where head slams to the mat. And again, the control goes completely in the corner of Sammy and KO, but a nice kick taking down Owens. And kudos to the Fever Team Dream for not giving up. As Owens throws Fever Team into the corner. Nice kick taking down and in the rolling same time. Um, some must say a cannonball. Trying to go for something. And again, a nice kick taking down the, uh, Kevin Owens. See? See how almost did there? And Fever Team Dream is trying to get all fired up. Throws into the corner. Connects with a clothesline taking down Kevin Owens. 
That's what Grosso willing not the way. And again, going back into a close line of his own. And again, Owens. Somewhat tired. Yeah, that's that's sweat, my man. Kinda has sweat. <laughs> Nonetheless, Owens throws Dream into the corner. Tag is made back to Sammy. Owens to Sammy. Yeah, nice back body drop. As Zane goes into the cover. And again, just a one count. Just a one count. Just a one count. That's nice reversal by Velveteen Dream. Pick Sammy right back up. Going to what a move by the Velveteen Dream. One, two, and Owens is here to break up the fight. To break up the pin. What am I doing? What am I saying? It doesn't matter. Dream now trying to go for a kick. Connects with a backbreaker instead. That's nice reversal by Sami Zayn. Get it out of that move. And the tag is made again. No, it's not. Is it? Huh? Just stand it there. Menacingly. And again, you just have to get the resilience. To the Fever Team Dream. I have no idea what's going on. Nonetheless, the tag is finally made to Kevin Owens. And Owens now, and it's time to put Velvet Team Dream to sleep. Pop a power bomb. One, two, three. And Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn picks up the victory. Again, you talk about my games. This is the final insult. The final mind game below to the head to the devil team dream just abandoning him in the middle of the match as we go back through some highlights and again the future number one contenders for the world Tag team titles. Again, beautiful move by Velvet Team Dream. But at the end of the day, here are your winners Kevin Owens and Sammy Zayn. Impressive victory for KO and Sammy Zayn. I am Moby One. We will see you for main event. Good night from St. Louis.